Manza Musa, also known as Musa I of Mali, was one of history's wealthiest monarchs, being the ninth emperor of the Mali Empire during its peak in the 14th century. With his leadership, vision, and wealth, Mansa Musa bequeathed a lasting legacy, underscoring the importance and magnificence of African civilizations in world history. Mansa Musa was the grandson of Sundiata Kida, founder of the Mali Empire. The latter was one of the most outstanding figures in West African history, and his story continues to be told over the centuries, with his accomplishments and character praised. Manza Musa probably received a considerable education throughout his youth. He was instructed in the principles of Islam, as well as the rulership and history of his people. During his youth, Manza Musa was raised in an environment of privilege and responsibility, always surrounded by advisors, tutors, and other members of the nobility, readying him for the upcoming responsibilities of leadership. Manza Musa succeeded his predecessor Abu Bakir II to the throne around 1312 AD. However, the exact reasons for his ascension and what he did before becoming king are a mystery. The Mali Empire's main wellspring of wealth was gold. The region boasted some of the wealthiest and most productive gold mines in the ancient world. These were under the direct control of the king and accounted for most of his financial power. West Africa at that time, especially the region controlled by the Mali Empire, was responsible for almost two-thirds of the known world's gold supply. The Mali Empire was strategically positioned between the Sahara Desert and the West African forests, which made it a central point on the Trans-Saharan trade routes. These trading routes connected North Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa. Numerous caravans crossed the desert, carrying gold, salt, ivory, slaves, and other valuable products from different regions of the African continent. Manza Musa, as the leader of a vast empire, levied tributes and taxes from his subjects and the smaller kingdoms under his rule. Cities like Timbuktu and Gao became vital trading centers under the direct control of the empire. Mali's geographical position and the relative peace during Mansa Musa's reign allowed these to flourish. Mansa Musa's pilgrimage to Mecca in present-day Saudi Arabia, undertaken between 1324 and 1325, is one of the most famous and discussed voyages in history. This pilgrimage, known as the Hajj, is one of the five pillars of Islam. Every adult Muslim, physically and financially fit, must accomplish the Hajj at least once in their lifetime. Manza Musa's pilgrimage is remarkable not only for its religious significance, but also for the political, economic, and cultural ramifications it had for the Mali Empire and the regions through which he passed. The pilgrimage gave Manza Musa an opportunity to interact with leaders and officials from other nations, especially in places like Cairo, Egypt, which was an important political and cultural center at the time. Manza Musa is believed to have traveled with a retinue of 60,000 people. There were 12,000 slaves among them, each carrying at least one bar of gold. He also had 80 camels, each carrying around 50 kilos of powdered gold. During his journey, Manza Musa handed out gold to the poor, as well as to the leaders and officials of the cities he visited. He also used the gold to buy products and decorative objects. Nevertheless, he dispensed gold so freely that it affected the local economies of the regions he visited. The most noticeable impact of his generosity was in Egypt, especially Cairo. The widespread distribution of gold in the city led to a significant devaluation of the precious metal, resulting in inflation. With so much gold on the market, its value dropped and the prices of other goods increased. Conscious of the economic impact of his actions, Manza Musa took steps to rebalance the economy. Making his way back to Mali, he turned to economic institutions, merchants, and kings from whom he could borrow as much gold as he could at high interest rates, helping to stabilize the economy and, all the while, displaying considerable financial acumen. Manza Musa's reputation as a righteous and generous leader, coupled with his outward display of faith during the pilgrimage, made him a legendary figure in West Africa. 
Following his death in 1337, the Mali Empire went into a period of slow decline, although it still managed to remain powerful and influential for several decades. Manza Musa not only cemented the Mali Empire as a dominant African power, but also made it well-known and respected in regions far beyond its borders.